All right, there is a bunch of ways you can add clips to the timeline inside DaVinci Resolve, and I will show you how you can use them, and it's in total a number of eight methods. So let's just get to it. The first method is the most basic one. So simply double click the clip in the media pool which you want to add, then click hold and drag it down to the timeline like this and just drop it. You can also separate audio and video so you can add the only the video parts to the timeline or you can add only the audio parts to the timeline. So to do this double click the clip in the media pool and hover your mouse over the source viewer and you should see these two icons as long as the clip has both video and audio. Then just click hold and drag the video tape down to the timeline to add only the video part like this and then make sure to drop it in a video track and not a audio track. Or we can add only the audio to the timeline. Then we just click, hold and drag the audio waveform icon here. And then drop it in the timeline. And here as well, make sure that you drop it in a audio track. Then it's the a bit more advanced methods. So to use this, you want to make sure that you have two viewers open. If not, just click on these two squares here. And here you have the source viewer and here you have the timeline viewer. So to use these methods, you simply open the pool and double click on the clip you want to add to the timeline. Drag the clip from the source viewer and then on top of the timeline viewer while holding the clip on top of this viewer. You can see this menu pops up. And since the first method in that menu shown on top of the viewer was insert, we're going to start with that one. So place the playhead here in between two clips where you want to insert the clip. Then drag the clip on top of the timeline viewer and drop it on insert. Then you can see we have successfully inserted a clip in between these two clips here in the timeline. What's nice about this method is that you're not affecting the neighbor clips at all. Then is the overwrite method. So this time I'm going to add the clip to the beginning of the timeline and placing the playhead here, then dragging the clip over and dropping it on overwrite. Now you can see we have overwritten part of the tiger clip, but since the bird clip is shorter than the tiger clip, some part of the tiger clip is left. However, if the tiger clip were shorter than the bird clip, so if we place the playhead in the beginning of this clip here, then try to overwrite, we can see the whole tiger clip has been overwritten and also part of this next clip. Next up is the replace method. So if we place the playhead in the middle of the tiger clip like this and then try to replace it, you can see we have now replaced part of the clip. Since the tiger clip is longer than the bird clip, if we had placed the playhead at the beginning and then tried to replace, we would only replace part of the tiger clip. Then it's the fill to fit method. So place the playhead on top of the clip you want to fill to fit. Then just drag the clip over and drop it on fill to fit like this. And now you can see the whole tiger clip has been replaced. The reason you can see here down in the left corner in the timeline, this icon here tells us that the clip spin has been changed. So in this case, the bird clip has been slowed down. It has changed clip speed to fill the whole tiger clip. Next up, you can also place clips on top. So I want to add this bird clip on top of the clip in the timeline here. Then just drag it like this. And you can see we placed the clip on top of the video track one exactly where we placed the playhead. You can also add clips to the end of the project. Drag the clip on top of the timeline viewer and use the append at end. You can see now we have successfully added the bird clip to the end of the timeline without even placing the playhead. Lastly, it's the ripple overwrite. So if we place the playhead on top of this clip like so, and then drag it on top of ripple overwrite here. Now you can see we have successfully replaced the clip in the timeline of the tiger. And what's awesome about this method is that instead of overwriting the next clip as well, it only overwrites the clip where you have placed the playhead. Check out this playlist for more quick tutorials like this.